Here, I'm gonna show you how to better organize your data using custom lists in Excel. And it allows you to do two really great things. First of all, what we can do is to type the first thing in the list, in this case, a section of a wing, and then copy it down and have all the other sections automatically filled in for us. That way there's no misspellings and we don't have to remember every little individual thing. But even better than that, and this, by the way, is not just limited to airplanes. I'll show you how to put whatever you need to put in the list in just a moment. But even better than this is when you want to go and sort your data. So right now it's sorted by part, but let's go ahead and sort it by type. So we can click in here and go to data and A to Z or Z to A. And usually it does a pretty good job of figuring out what to sort. And we now have an alphabetical sort, but it's not what we want. We want it to be sorted like this. And since we've made this into a custom list, all we have to do is click in here and then go to the custom sort window. Make sure my data has headers has been checked because we have headers and then choose the column by which we want to sort part or type. It's the name of the header and then on cell values and for order, go down to custom list, select your custom list. Ours is right here. Hit. Okay. Okay and there we go in the order that we want it to be in and now that you see that it's time to actually add the custom list all you have to do is to go to file then down to options then advanced and all the way down here in the general section go to edit custom lists click new list over here and then go to list entries and start typing whatever you want to put in here. My new list, then enter to go to the next entry, uh, next entry, then enter to go to the next entry, third entry. And all you have to do after that is hit add. And we have a new list over here. We hit OK and OK. And now we can go my new list, enter and copy it down. And we can also sort by the new list, just like we sorted by the wing section list. Now, one thing you might want to do if you have a long list or the spelling can be a little bit confusing, or you want to make sure you get the order right first is go ahead and do everything here in the worksheet. I'm going to make a new list one, two, three. It can be any text value with whatever order that you want. Just make the list. Then file options, advanced, all the way at the bottom, edit custom lists, and go to import a list from cells. Click in here, click that guy to get it out of the way. Select your list, and we can click that guy to get the window back, hit import, and our new list is going to be right here. We can edit it if we want to. Three, maybe we want to add four as well, and then we can click add again. And once you're done with it, go ahead and hit OK, and you're going to have your new list. And if you ever want to delete a list, just get back to this window, select the list that you'd like to remove, hit delete, and then OK, and you're good to go. And that's all that you need to do to get lists in Excel, and then sort your data by those lists. And if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get all of my new tutorials.